All right, so as you can see from the title of the video, it is new bike day. Did I need another bike? It's debatable. Um, I think I always need another bike. There's always room for N plus one. Got Roberto with me. Got Kim with me. We're gonna pick up this bike, uh, meeting the guy in Springfield, and then we're gonna uh, shoot straight over to uh, Northwest Arkansas. Gonna ride the bike today. Uh, Kim's gonna kinda tool around on the on the YT, and then we're gonna rent uh, a bike for her tomorrow. We're gonna meet at this Walmart parking lot. Hopefully it goes well, and before the end of the day, uh, we're gonna get some riding in. Woo! We're at Five Guys, gonna pick up some Five Guys before we head to Bentonville. Without further ado, I need to introduce you guys to my brand new, new to me, 2017 Trek Stash. The Stash is the uh, mid fat or plus bike, whatever you want to call it by Trek. It's a 29er. It's got 3.0 wide tires, a 1x11 SRAM GX drivetrain. He's got the brakes upgraded to the SLX uh, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. I talked to the guy, I said, hey, I'm going to make a little episode on my YouTube channel of this. He said, that's fine. Just don't tell them what you paid for the bike. So I said, all right, that's fair. I will tell you, new in 2017, this bike retailed for like 2100 bucks. I paid a fraction of that. I got a really, really, really good deal on this bike. It's in awesome shape. He's the only owner. He said he bought it in 2000. Uh, 17 new rode it like 15 times and it's basically been sitting in his garage for the last uh, two years it's in awesome shape I'm really excited this is gonna kind of be my winter bad weather trail riding bike when it snows it's got those mid fat plus tires so it'll do good in the snow we're gonna get some five guys uh, head straight to Bentonville and I'm gonna take this thing out on the trails Downtown Bentonville, first ride on the new Plus bike. Got Kim set up on the Jeffsy. She's got the seat drop and it actually fits her all right. So there's a, there's a few things that I'm definitely gonna wanna do to this bike. I've already ordered pedals. It's just got the cheap, uh, the cheap pedals on it right now that came on it. Um, I'm gonna put my other bars that came on the Jeffsy on it. Uh, some wider bars. Ah, the thing is like a monster truck. I mean, instantly out the gate. Also probably gonna put a dropper on it. There's no dropper post on it. Oh, this thing's smooth though. I really should have put the pedals off the Jeffsy on this thing. Cause these pedals suck. I guess about a week ago, I test rode a Roscoe, which is Trex 27.5 version of this bike. Didn't really care for it. I knew instantly I needed a, I needed the stash. And just from test riding this bike and getting on it, I could tell that this one fit me way, way better. Definitely gonna want a dropper though. A little bit of mud. Again, just awesome climber. Also probably gonna need a, a low pressure gauge to see exactly, because I think tire pressure with these fat bikes, these mid fat bikes is way more crucial. Dude, this bike is definitely fast though. Uh, it moves. Ah, dude, I'm scooting right now. All right, so the fun factor on this bike is freaking off the charts. It's fast, um, it's lighter than my full suspension, but it just feels like it's got that acceleration being in a hardtail. These bikes are great for wheeling because of the short wheelbase. Now I gotta learn how to wheelie. Woo! Good at skinnies. Come on, get it. Yeah. Woo! Bike rips, man. The bike rips. So fast. And this is like a slight incline right now. And I'm just cruising. So efficient. 
roots and rocks. This thing is like a monster truck. It basically just plows over everything. And honestly, I don't know why more people aren't riding these mid-fat bikes. This thing is awesome. Some roots, just like they're nothing. They're nothing. Like, I feel like I'm on a full squish right now. Right now, this little climb, these rocks, there's a loot. Oh, okay, that wasn't a bike, that was just lack of skill. Oh, big old deer. Oh, big old deer. Watch me, watch me hit the buck coming on this way. I'm gonna kind of go slow. There, oh shit, there he is. What's up, man? Okay, I'm 10 yards from this deer right now. He's just staring at me. Hey, buddy. All right, dude, I'll let you be. All right, you're good. See you, man. I've never been that close to a, a buck that big before. I'm not a hunter. I spend my time riding bikes, not shooting guns, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so I just finished up the very first ride on the stash. 29 plus here in Bentonville. What a great place to uh, take your new bike out for first for its uh, first ride. This bike, so far, love it. There's some things I want to do to it. Uh, I'm gonna throw on some wider bar, shorter stem, eventually get a dropper, definitely a different saddle and some uh, better pedals. But besides that, the bike was super fun. And it's really responsive, it climbs really well, Ro rolls over all roots, rocks, and it's a really fast bike. I think I already said that like four times, but it's a super fast bike. But I'm really happy with the purchase and um, I'm gonna have some fun on it. So guys, remember, if you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all that good stuff, and have a good one.